This is Gene Key, SkyServ News. A federal court is refusing to block a congressional redistricting map it drew up for Texas after minority groups challenged the original Republican-backed plan. KVUE.com reports Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott has asked the San Antonio-based court to stay the implementation of its map, which would ensure minorities made up the majority in three additional Texas congressional districts for the 2012 election. The court turned down the Republicans' request Friday evening. Abbott plans to appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The court drew the maps after minority groups sued claiming a redistricting plan devised by the Republican-controlled Texas legislature didn't reflect growth in the state's Hispanic and black populations. In a court ruling earlier Friday, Abbott accused the court of interfering with the work of the legislature and undermining the democratic process. The Associated Press reports from San Antonio, the Bear County Medical Examiner has ruled that the deaths of a couple found in their suburban San Antonio home Thanksgiving evening are a homicide and a suicide. The bodies of 72-year-old John Rodney Haynes and 70-year-old Antoinette Hayes were discovered next to a shotgun in their Savannah Park home Thursday evening. The San Antonio Express News reports that the medical examiner has called the death of John Haynes a suicide, Antoinette Haynes a homicide. She was shot in the chest. His gunshot wounds were to the chest and neck. Investigators had no immediate motive for the deaths. Neighbors described the couple as quiet and friendly. They were the original owners of their home built in 1973. The Associated Press reports a devastating drought in southwest Texas has killed thousands of Christmas trees in Texas and Oklahoma, leaving many farmers with little to offer holiday choppers. Many trees died of thirst. Hundreds of others burned in wildfires. Most farmers say nearly all their youngest trees died, meaning that drought's effect will still be felt five years from now, when the saplings would have reached their maturity. Some farmers are importing trees from North Carolina. Others are resigned to selling fewer trees. Some have shut down, and despite their losses, most say they can't raise prices in the weak economy to make up the difference. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServ News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServ News.